Okay, this is uh, Mark Serzano, a registered piano technician. I'm in my shop, and I'm going to show you how we, how I use the uh, MFJ 751B tunable audio filter to help beginning piano tuners hear the beats better. The beats are produced when two notes are played that have a coincidental partial, and the coincidental partial is not the same frequency. So, for example, with this piano, I've got F here and A, and above F we have this harmonic series, there's five notes, we go up to the fifth one, that's A, and uh, above A we go uh, four, so that's A also. So the fifth partial of the F and the fourth partial of A are the same note, but if they don't have the same frequency, the partials that is, of each of these notes don't have the same frequency, then they will beat. I can hear this beating quite clearly. Some students have trouble. So we use this uh, tunable audio filter to... It's a bandpass filter and you can tune it so that it only lets through the frequencies around A. So uh, what I have is a contact microphone. Uh, it's, um, it's contact. It's clipped onto the um, onto the uh, soundboard. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but right in there, right about there, it's clipped onto the soundboard. It's a contact microphone, so it doesn't pick up a lot of uh, extraneous noise. This unit would be excellent if it had headphones, because then there wouldn't be any feedback, but uh, you'll, you'll hear when I start it up that there is still a little bit of feedback. Okay, so the contact microphone goes into my uh, unit here. It's an uh, interface for a computer. Uh, that goes into the computer, and then the output of this unit goes into the MFJ751B. And then the output of the filter goes through a cable that goes into my uh, stereo system. Right here, the stereo system. Okay? So uh, when you play the, the two notes, I hear the beats, some students don't very well. So when we turn on the unit, you can hear, I've turned up the selectivity quite high so that the hiss that's coming through is an indication of the frequency that the uh, filter is set to. And when I change the, when I change the frequency, you can hear it. So my, my students know that when they play F and A, this is where the coincidental partial is, and they try to hear the beats happening there. So even if I play one note, you can hear the A5 coming out quite clearly. In fact, you can hear all the notes of the harmonic series if we, tune, if we change the frequency. So that's the A5 coming out above A3, that's the A5 coming out above F3, and you play them together. It's very easy for me to hear right now. I don't know what it's like on the video, but you get an idea. Without the unit, I, you know, it's, it's not as easy to hear. Students find it difficult. Is that turn, turned on? So that's how I'm using the uh, MFJ 751B to help piano tuners learn how to tune pianos. Being able to hear those beat speeds is the hardest thing, probably one of the hardest things a piano tuner has to learn because it's not a simple open a book and learn it. It takes years of trying to hear it and then the ear changes so that you can hear it. Hope that was uh, interesting.